Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will teach you how to make this exact simulation in Blender. It's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by pressing S to scale up the cube, and then press S, then set to scale it up on the Z axis, and then let's go into the physics, and set it to fluid, the type to domain, which is the border of the simulation, and then set it to liquid. And then we can go down and enable mesh as well, which we will bake after the uh, particle bake. And then let's increase the operas factor and decrease the radius to uh, increase the quality of the mesh. And you can also change the fluid type to water, oil, and so on. I'm going to set it to water and then set the end frame to 300 which is the last frame of the simulation. And then I'm just going to make sure that I'm not adding an old bake. And then we can go into the object settings and go to viewport display and set the viewport display to wire so that we can see what's going on inside the uh, domain. And then we can make a save in case something crashes. So just give it a name and then press enter to save. And then let's go to add mesh and then let's add a UV sphere. And then press G and then set to grab it on the set axis and then press S to scale. And this will be the inflow object. And let's add a subdivision surface modifier to add additional polygons. And then let's add smooth shading as well to make it even smoother. And uh, then let's go into the physics settings for the sphere. Go to fluid, set the type to flow. And then set the flow type to liquid and set the flow behavior to inflow. And we'll animate this and let's set the sampling sub steps to 3 and then set the initial velocity to 0.1 so that the water doesn't flow as fast as you have seen in other simulations. And then the end frame to 300, of course. And then at frame 250, I will keyframe the uh, flow behavior set it to inflow in the beginning of the uh, simulation and then at the end it becomes geometry which means that it falls into the uh, pool so press i to keyframe once again okay so now that we have the inflow set up we can select the domain and uh, then we can bake the data which uh, bakes the uh, simulation particles and I speed it up this part, and once the bake is done, we can play the uh, animation. And as you can see, it uh, works fine. And next, you can either bake the mesh, or we can free up the data and bake at a uh, even higher resolution. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to free the data. And then if you want to, you can increase the resolution as much as you want to. I'm going to set it to 250. And after an hour of uh, baking, I have a uh, even higher resolution simulation. Okay, so now that we have the particles, we need to bake the mesh. But first, let's uh, create a save. Let's uh, click on the plus sign and then save and then go down to mesh and then we can bake the mesh and uh, this is also going to take uh, quite a lot of time but uh, once it's done you have the mesh as well and uh, as you can see it looks fine so let's go to file save as and click on the plus sign to create a new save in case uh, something crashes and uh, then we can add the floor. So let's move the 3D cursor to uh, the bottom of the simulation. And then press uh, Shift A to add a uh, plane. And then press S to scale. And then left click to confirm the scale. And uh, then let's go into the materials and add a new material. I'm just going to add a uh, basic diffuse shader, 
with a white color. So let's make it completely white. And then go into the render settings. I'm going to set the engine to cycles. And then the device you can set to GPU. I'm going to set the number of samples to uh, 300, which uh, should be more than enough. And uh, let's go to the world settings and make the background completely white as well. And I'm going to increase the strength of the uh, white background slightly. And then I'm also going to uh, select the light, change it into a sun, and then I'll set the strength to 3, which uh, should be enough. And then let's select the water mesh. And then go into the materials. And then let's change the material to a uh, glass type. And for water, we just set the roughness to 0. And then the IOR to 1.333. Okay. And uh, when we go into rendered view and hide the overlay, you can see the water. And I think we also need to change the color of the water. These uh, fluid particles will not be visible in the final render, by the way. So uh, let's uh, change the uh, color of the water. I'm going to make it uh, blue. And then let's go to render view. And as you can see, we have the blue water. And you can obviously add some uh, different colors as well. Like red or uh, green. But I'm going to use blue. I think this looks nice. And then the next step of the tutorial is to select the sphere. And instead of adding a uh, transparent shader for the uh, inflow object, I'm going to uh, disable the visibility both in the viewport and in the render so that we only see the water itself. Okay. And then let's go back to solid view. And then press tab for edit mode. And let's go to edge select. And if you want to, you can hold in shift and select multiple edges. And then press E, then set to extrude on the set axis to add some walls to the scene. And then press number zero to uh, look through the camera. And then press N and lock the camera to view. And then we also need to select the camera and increase the range of the camera. So let's increase the end value for the lens. Let's go a little bit backwards using the uh, middle mouse uh, scroll button. Okay, so something like this should be fine. Now let's go into the render settings for the final render. And I'll set the device to GPU. If you only have a CPU, you can just use the CPU. And I'll set the tile size to 512. And if you only have a CPU, you can just leave it at uh, 64. And then I'll set the uh, resolution to 4K. If you only want uh, 1080p, you can just leave it at 100%. And then I'll set the frame rate to 30 FPS. And for the compression, I think uh, 80% is uh, fine. And then you need to uh, add a folder on your computer for the render. So I'm just going to add it here. Give the folder a name. And then select the uh, folder. And then give the animation a name. And uh, then let's go into rendered view and make sure everything is fine before we do the uh, test render. Let's hide the overlay, and I think it looks fine. So uh, let's go back to solid view. And before I start the render, I'm going to save. So go to File, Save As, click on the plus sign, and then Save. And then go to Render, and then Render Image to do a uh, test render. And after a few minutes of uh, rendering, 
we have this result and I think it looks fine. So let's go back to the viewport and also make sure to add smooth shading to the uh, fluid. So shade smooth. And then I'm going to save one more time. So file, save as, click on the plus sign and then save. And if you want to, you can also scale up the floor so that the background becomes uh, just one solid color. Press S, then Shift Z to scale it only on the X and the Y axis. And I think that looks nice. So let's go back to Solid View. And then press Tab. And if you want, you can also delete the uh, walls. Okay, so now we're ready for the final render. So, uh... Let's go to render and then render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and more tutorials coming soon.